<laughs> Congratulations, both of you. Um, I've seen the movie. It's delightful. And uh, I, I know it premiered to great acclaim at Sundance. We, we do these broad comedies very well, but this movie in the second part actually morphs into something else entirely, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. And uh, I think the Australia that I know so well um, and the, the way I kind of see our multicultural society is... Um, is it was important for me to reflect that in the film so I'm so glad that uh, it's it's a part of Australia that people haven't seen before with um, a, the kind of families that people probably haven't seen before as well. Never at all um, and Gulam, that must have been a hell of an experience for you heading up on the Tiwi Islands. Yeah it was incredible yeah I mean it, it Did was... you know what to expect? No not at all really I'm ashamed to say that like you know I knew the NT through Crocodile Dundee and things like that. That's all right. Just, that's you know, all right. That's, okay. th these are the stories. That's what we put out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's but, the entry um, point. But, yeah but it, I mean it's a pretty special place and we were really welcomed by the community up there. Um, yeah. When you kind of see the end of the film you see the, the wedding and, and we we had like the local community they, they were our uh, uh, congregation that day it was quite amazing you can you can tell you don't need much background information when you're watching uh, the the wedding scene it's not a it's not a spoiler to say there is a wedding, I a think wedding. you yeah. pretty much anticipate it would end happily ever after yeah. yes. um, but the incorporation of of really important aspects of culture in the Tiwi Islands to me was really moving. The ownership of country, the ownership of culture, but also the ownership of the, the Christian history on the Tiwi Islands, yes. the mission and the like. Uh, that was incorporated really uh, beautifully as well. Yeah. I thought that was, that was actually very moving. Oh, thank you. Yes, um, the the uh, the older Tiwi ladies up there who, and particularly the ones that sing in the choir, uh, are quite Catholic. Um, but um, they were just so they were just so excited to have us on the island as mm. well, and um, they they, they uh, once I think it was so important for me to make sure that we were all transparent with the community with what we were doing, and um, and as soon as we told them it's all about a wedding, they were just so on board. <laughs> <laughs> These people are. Gulen, what drew you to the project? Well, initially the script, uh, and I read the script. Co-written uh, by Miranda, co of course. by Miranda, yes. yeah. and Josh Tyler was the other writer as well. Mm. And uh, I read the script on a cold, dark day in, in a London winter <laughs> and, and saw the description of all these beautiful locations of Kakadu and Catherine and... Uh, you know, obviously that had a great appeal. Yes. Uh, the idea of being in the Australian sunshine, but also the story was just uh, a unique re kind of telling of a, a rom com. You think you know what you're getting because mm. you see all these kind of recognizable tropes of romantic comedies, yes. and then it goes in a completely different direction, as you say, and just it, there's this really heartwarming. Uh, film about uh, identity and family and home. Incredibly moving yeah. and you're right it's a, it's a movie of two parts it really is so you're, you're off if you go and see it you'll start on one ride and then you'll head down another track and that's most unexpected.